Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and today um, I'm going to be talking about the True XC9 Pro Stock Hockey Gloves. And before I do that, you can see all these gloves here. I'm doing a series on Instagram uh, where every day I will be talking about a different set of gloves, just what I, like some of the information on them, why I bought them, and some details. So that will be all these gloves that are seen here. So check that out. Link will be in the description of the first one, I guess. Um, so yeah, that will be there. Um, so check that out if you think it's interesting. If you find gloves interesting like I do, it might be something interesting to watch. Anyways, okay, so which ones do I want here? So I reviewed the True XC9 retail gloves um, a while back when they came out. And I said that they were awful, one of the worst gloves on the market. So you may be asking why I bought the True XC9 Pro Stock gloves. Um, the reason being is because they're the Kachina colorway of the Coyotes. These are Chikrin Pro Returns, name there, you can see the number right there. Um, I bought them from a store in Toronto. I'm not gonna say the name because that's a shout out, so I'm gonna stop doing that. Um, so yeah, I bought them from a store in Toronto and they were the cheapest way I could get Kachina Pro Stock gloves. And I've always wanted one of these to add to my collection just for the colorway. I like pretty cool colorways. If you couldn't tell with the gloves I've had up here, um, I kind of collect rare looking gloves and I got these anyways, these are pretty different from the retail version, but still close enough that I don't get why they exist. And I'll say that. Oh, well, I know why they exist, but why people would get them. So first of all, there is zero zipper palm. So it's a huge improvement right there. Um, cause the palm kind of makes them too high, like the, the glove, the gusset too high from the actual padding. And then it kind of like the glove floats on your hand. This one feels like it's much more on your hand. Like it should be cause you don't have that zipper in the way. The next is the palms. The gussets are, uh, spandex here. And then you have your Nash here. So you can see the spandex through the, like right there. Great design. Um, another glove that does that is the Bauer gloves. A bunch of these pro stocks have that actually as well. Um, I'm trying to see if I have another one right here and I don't. So a bunch of the pro stock gloves have that design. Um, it gives you kind of the comfortable, the flex fingers. So it's not all just, um, uh, the Nash and stiff and suspendix, but at the same time, it gives you the Nash. So your fingers can't bulge out the end. So it kind of holds it in place for the padding, which is really good. So my complaint, actually, let's just go on for some more details. So you can see the palm pretty soft, pretty comfortable. It's pretty decent to be totally honest. I'm decent fan of it. Flex Thumb is pretty horrendous um, compared to other companies, which I'll show in a second. Interesting thing is you can see the top of the like the thumb, so it doesn't get like you're you can't hyper extend it right there. And I don't think it does a great job. Like I can still push that pretty far, and then that digs in there. I mean that's kind of what it's supposed to do, but it still moves pretty good. Um, and again, flexibility is just terrible for that. Um, I guess the, I do like the blue liner. I like that material. It's pretty nice. The one thing I kind of do like too is it has these removable little pads. Um, and like I said, I do like this liner. It's comfortable. It's soft. It's unique. So it's decent from there. This pad I like just to add like um, some backhand to kind of fill up the negative space. I actually took this. Uh, I'll take these out of these and I will put them in to some of my the gloves I wear uh, more frequently that I find a little too big that this will kind of like spit put the space in there to hold it more snug. A super tax was an example of that when I had super tax gloves, um, I would put these in there or I would use like, I have another piece of foam from an old, uh, MF two gloves that I would use as well. So I put those in there and then that way it would just feel more snug in your hand. Um, so this glove, it, this is supposed to be kind of a flex. It kind of stretches a bit more, but it doesn't. This glove is, um, really weird to me and I don't, un well, the reason why I'm pretty sure any pro wears this glove is because of how the fingers are and, or not because is because of, uh, they're paid to like Marner. So for example, look at the index finger and look at the pinky finger on this glove. See how it's all like pushed off to the side and like, that's really bad. It doesn't, I can't get it straight and it just always stretches out. That's not me pushing the finger out like that. That's just me trying to go straight and I can't straighten it. And these are small too. So the closest thing I can see to, to having a problem with that is this glove. And you can see how it kind of tilts over. And I have seen that as a problem before, but when I wear it straight, I can still straighten it like all the way. And it, it tilts that way, which is a problem, but these are also super used like that hole and everything. And 
So that's, I don't know if that's really broken in. Um, I guess we have another one we can check too. So maybe it is, yeah. So it's a bit of a design issue on the 11Ks, but it's also, again, that, at least I can straighten the fingers where when I do that on the XC, like that's me trying to straighten the finger, it kind of just goes outwards more. And same with the pinky. So the problem I have with these gloves is kind of what I had with the Barbero gloves and it's kind of the foams are too close together so it doesn't straighten out. And it's kind of weird in that sense. And also the cut just wrong. This isn't as bad as the retail XC9 I had where the fingers were just all, this finger was like that and that finger was like that and it made no sense. Um, so this is better in that sense, but it's still kind of, it's kind of crazy. And even when I try to straighten it there, you can see how the material here feels like it's almost hindering going straighter. Like you pull it straighter and that's what happens. So it's almost like this isn't long enough. Um, so it might not even be the foams that are cut incorrectly. It's like the palm isn't long enough to actually stretch out. And these are small for me, right? So I'm wearing a 14 on these and my fingers are coming out here and I can't like straighten. That's pretty crazy in my eyes. I'm pretty disappointed for like the build quality of that. This does is a pretty interesting glove in terms of like the foam package. And True has always had a pretty good foam package for retail. Um, they're thicker than other gloves, so they should be more padded, but my problem has always been the palm and kind of build quality. So these have dual density foam and a plastic insert. So you have your plastic insert there, dual density there. So there's a softer one and then a way stiffer one right up there. So it's pretty interesting. Um, protection should be pretty good on these. The, they do it differently than other companies. So this is a Bauer, obviously. And this one is basically, it's dual density as well, but it's pour on. So you can tell where the pour on is. So it's pour on there and then it's harder, but not as hard as the true. And then you have your uh, insert. And then this is an XP. So this is all D3O. So there's no dual density in this. It's just D3O and then your insert. Um, normally this is a, like a stock CCM one. And so this does have dual density. It has a little tiny piece of pour on at the top and then a softer underneath. This would be more protective than this one, but it's, it's just a weird glove and I don't under, I, I feel like True doesn't have anyone who says no at their company and whoever keeps designing this stuff and if they ever read this, they're gonna hate me, but whoever keeps designing this stuff, designs it and then everyone else is like, yep, that's cool. And no one like puts it on and to see how it is. Um, Cause there's a, this glove is over-engineered way too much. I kind of mentioned that on the Vivero gloves before, but this one is like a pro stock glove and it's too much. There's no reason to have these segments. Like there's too many segments. You don't need these. You could probably take one of these out. These are kind of useless. This shouldn't be two pieces. Like what's the point of all that? If you look at how many, how like other gloves are made, you can kind of see how they simple, like make it more simple. And I, I, I kind of went on warrior about this on how they went too simple. So they went from like five piece to three for the QRE. That was kind of moving away like this still moves amazingly with your hands like this is one of the best gloves i have and it moves amazing doesn't leave any gaps and it's still enough pieces for everything where warrior kind of took a step backwards from their qrl this is just like what's the point of this this is just too much you you don't need one two three four five different rolls here six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven different breaks on here like the closest I'm guessing would be like this one, but even that, if you look down here, like the sim simplicity of it, why is there triple breaks here? When is this ever going to break that way? Same with like this piece, this will never break that way. So there's no point having the breaks there. And as well as here, this could have just been these pieces to go like continue going and it would have been fine. It would be more similar to what this is. Like all of the gloves here, I guess we'll pull this one out too. Like the, it's just over too much and it, doesn't make us like, I don't understand why. And someone at True, and at least they're listening for the zipper palms because the new glove doesn't have the zipper palm. Um, but stop, like this is too much. Figure this stuff out first. And like, you don't need this. They have great palms. Um, their comfort is pretty good. What is going on? If, if True, if you ever want someone to like take your stuff and actually give you real feedback of it before it goes live, let me know because I'll tell you how bad this is and how, like, what is this? <laughs> There's too much going on. So yeah, this is a kind of a mini rant of true gloves. And even the new, uh, I think it's, I can't remember what the new four rolls called, 
but it's terrible too. Uh, I put it on, it's awful. It's at least a step in the right direction, but it's still not good. This, I, I'm glad I don't like these gloves in terms of how they are, because I'll never wear them for actual games. And they'll just sit in my, my, my cabinet, showing them off for the colorway, because that was the whole point of these anyways. So yeah. Um, so that was a very long video and I kind of apologize, but I kind of do that. This is the rant of why true gloves are kind of crap. And even the pro sock ones are just terrible. I would take every glove on this table minus these two, just get rid of those. Um, and the ones that were on before, before this glove, it's that bad. There's just no reason to get this when other ones exist. The only reason I did is because it's Kachina and it was the cheapest way for me to get Kachina. This was like 200, if I got a one ass in Kachina, it was like 250 bucks. These were like 200 US. Um, I can't remember what else ones I saw. 11Ks were like, like these in Kachina were like 150 US and this was not even close to what that was. And these are new, all the other ones were used. So anyways, that's it for this review video of the True XC9 Pro Stock Kachina gloves. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it was interesting and helpful. Don't buy True Pro Stock gloves, buy another company's. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, hit the bell icon so you get notified of uh, when my videos go live. Comment on this video if you have any questions or thoughts or think I'm an idiot. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description and the Instagram for all the little video clips for all these gloves will also be in uh, linked below as well. So check that out. Take it easy.